Too Many Cinderella's is a card game in which you are attempting to have in your hand at the end of the game the card that meets the stipulations on the board that will then lead to the Prince Charming picking your card. You will then get one diamond for your victory and depending on how many diamonds you're trying to go to that will be one point towards the end of the game. You'll play the game over and over again until one person hits the number you're trying to reach which can be three or five or whatever you determine it to be. Or you can play the game just as one game and the victor in that one game is the winner. Each player will be dealt four cards that they will keep secret. There will be two cards remaining in a four player game that will be part of the deck. In a three player game there will be more cards remaining. Each player is also given a yes and a no disc. They will use that for voting. What happens on your turn is you will take one of your four cards and play it to the table face up. Each card has a stipulation that says Cinderella does not something, unless it has a special power. If it has a Cinderella does not, then it has a symbol next to it. When this card is played face is played to the table, this is saying that at the end of the game, Cinderella does not like books, meaning she cannot have a book symbol on her card. If she does, then she does not meet this requirement. After everyone, after each player puts their card down, there is a voting. All players secretly vote with their discs. If they say yes, then they're saying that Cinderella does not like books and that's okay. If they say no, then they're canceling that. It only takes one person to cancel a card for it not to matter anymore at the end of the game. If multiple players cancel it, then they just have lost their nose. You will only have one no during the game, so once you place a no on a card, you do not get it back. There are cards that allow you to get them back or get a different one back, but for the most part, when you place your no on a card, it's gone. So from then on, you're voting yes for everything. After I have played this card down, then the next player would play a card down face up. We would all vote yes or no on that stipulation. We would go around until all players have gone twice. Once all players have gone twice, we take the top card off of the deck, play it face up, and then we get to vote one more final time on that card. After all cards have been played face up, and all the voting has been done, that is when we decide what type of character meets the stipulations on the cards. In your hand, you will have two cards remaining. Those two cards are the ones that will be checked to see if they meet the stipulations. In this case, Cinderella cannot be young, she's not a princess, and she does not like books. So in this case, this card likes books, so that would not be eligible. This card is an adult, which is not young, so that's good. Hair does not matter, food does not matter. So in this case, this card could win the game for me. Because it is eligible, we check it against all other players' cards that are also eligible. The lowest number wins the game. Unless, of course, one of the cards was played face up. That did the opposite, meaning the highest card would have won. That would then give me a diamond, which is a victory point. Again, go into the number of victory points needed to win the game. That is how you play Too Many Cinderella's.